Hey, it's the Street Team here. I'm Zach Clark. We are at the On God Arts Hotel, and I'm sitting across from Vanessa, who is the art connoisseur here. So please tell me a little bit about the On God and how it got its name. I could do that. Uh, On God Arts Hotel is named after On God Paul. He's one of the co-founders of the hotel, along with Steve Smith of the Lawrence Group. So here in Grand Center, um, Lawrence Group has done a lot of development, and Steve and Angad met when this building had been abandoned. Mm. So it was originally the Missouri Theater from the 1920s. Mm. Yeah, it's the original home of the Radio City Rockettes from okay. New York. That's cool. So mm -hmm. I love the fusion of like art and the hotel because it has this comfortable creativity space here. Whose idea, like whose focus was that? So I would like to say it's a collaboration. Um, Steve Smith is a great appreciator of art. On God Paul was producer of a movie. He was really involved in the arts and I think that was part of his um, input that he wanted an arts hotel okay. and we had a space to put it in. So. Right. And each floor represents something different with colors. Why, why is stay colorful? Stay colorful. Yes, right? stay yeah. colorful like yeah. my outfit yeah. here. Why is that so important here? Yes, so um, it was a very original idea. We're actually the first hotel in the world that you can book your room on the emotion of color. Oh wow. So we have four main colors for the rooms mm -hmm. and uh, red is passion, yellow is happiness, green rejuvenation, and blue is tranquility. Oh, I'm tranquil yeah. right now. I mean, you are tranquil. Yeah. You're in blue. Nice, yeah. I am very passionate. Bringing the passion. You yeah. got, you're bringing a lot. You got all the colors I, I going. do have all of them. <laughs> so one cool thing about our, this is my uniform, oh. um, not the red jacket, but okay. the shirt underneath, and it was done by Ruben Ruel of the St. Louis Fashion Fund. And I do believe they chose this fabric because it incorporates all of the emotions, so I'm just yeah. an emotional firecracker over here. The on God brings it all. I see. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, uh, tell me about the artists. Um, how many artists do you accommodate, and how do you collaborate with them? Yes, yeah, so each of the room's colors represents a different set of artists. Mm -hmm. All the artists and the artwork was brought in by Art St. Louis, mm -hmm. and when they chose, they chose artists based on the color template of the room. I gotta ask you, um, with the events that you have got coming up, what are you mm -hmm. most excited about? Well, we have two main events for the summer that I'm, I, I personally have been involved with a new call for art in the hotel and through the restaurant. So all of the permanent artwork was done through Art St. Louis, as I said, and that is a rotating gallery in the first floor for every three months. Okay. But right now we are doing a call that for every six months to rotate new art. And that opening reception is Tuesday, June 11th. Mm. So I'm really excited to get that work out there and show some people and celebrate those St. Louis artists. All of the artwork comes from within 200 miles of the hotel. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah. it's very uh, um, embracing of the St. Louis culture and artists. Definitely. We're all about St. Louis artists, which is one of the most exciting parts. There's a lot of other um, art hotels that would celebrate contemporary or whatnot, but we are very local and we celebrate our local artists. Um, one of the other things that's going on through the summer is a concert series on the rooftop. And oh, nice. It's called Live in the Sky, and they have um, local artists as well as acts coming from out of town and um, it's one of the things that it's gonna bring a lot to the city. Okay, mm -hmm. now I gotta ask you before, because the people need to know this, um, the reason why they should listen to you, not only are you from St. Louis, but you've lived all over, um, yeah. you know, be, li being involved in different <laughs> art scenes, so can you just describe like other places you've lived and why St. Louis, uh, why you felt the, the need to come here and work in the art scene here. Sure, definitely. Yeah. Um, you could definitely call me a vagabond. Uh -huh. I've been in a lot of different arts communities. Uh, St. Louis is amazing because it has this definite underdog feeling because St. Louis in itself has so much diversity and so much going on underneath the surface and yet we don't have a representation um, outwardly, nationally, internationally as well as, as a very strong arts committee or arts scene, I should say. Um, and one of the things about this particular area in the Grand Center Arts District is that they have an art walk every first Friday. And so that gives St. Louis the chance to say, hey, we are an amazing conglomerate of artists and we have a lot to show. And so for me, having lived in many different areas, that's one of the things I see when I come back to St. Louis. I have worked in arts committees across the country, I've been in art walks all over, and one of the things I'm really excited to see is, is the walk, the okay. art walk, bringing the artists out. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I'm Zach Clark, back to you in the studio.